Guys, we haven't talked about the Chargers yet much this week, but Los Angeles has the number one rated scoring defense in the NFL. They're allowing just 13 points per game. If you were in the offensive game planning rooms with Kevin Stefanski and Ken Dorsey, how would you try and scheme up an offensive attack against this top-rated Chargers defense, Tyvis? Well, I mean, uh, all those is great. I mean, but I think right now the strength of your team is the, in the passing game. Now, I will say, you know, Nick Chubb is starting to look really good. He's starting to rev back up. So I would, I would start off just typical fashion. I will always start off with giving Nick Chubb the ball, let him see what he can do because I think this, if he gets – the way he's progressing right now, him breaking the long 15-yard run and all of those things, like defenses see that, and they see that this man is starting to get his ways back. So as a defense, you got to respect that. Like, you have to. And once he does that, boom, I think you open up for play action and things like that. Jameis shown you that these wide, he's good enough with these wide receivers to make plays. Um, I know they got Asante Samuel Jr. Who's the other? I can't never think of who the other corner is. I know they got Derwin J James back there, all of those guys that's really good. But I think that that passing attack right now is the hot hand, and you got to roll with the hot hand. And maybe you do it backwards. You do the, uh, the Kevin Stefanski way. You pass to open up the run for um, Nick Chubb. The question is, is Joey Bosa going to play? Because Joey, I think he's been out of the lineup and if he plays, that means he will be against Dewan Jones, which would be a good matchup. And can Dewan hold his own on the left side? Mm -hmm. That's something that I would be thinking about. Man, Bosa ain't played since Ohio State, man. Chill out. Man, him chill. And, hey, 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 man, hey, 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 if you if you ask me who you gonna take Bosa or Nick Bosa's hat, I'll take Nick Bosa's hat. <laughs> Give me the hat. <laughs> nah, nah, Joey. Joey go out there and play this Sunday, hey, and he hey. calls havoc. I don't, you better keep that same. Hey, energy. I'm gonna keep that in. I'm gonna keep that energy. You know I will. I, and let me tell you this, man. Let's get to this, bro. The Kool Aid is a second away from coming, boy. Oh, if they beat the Chargers. It's full blast. Hey, I don't blame you. The Kool Aid's coming from the heavens. Let me tell you something about this, man. We lit now. We lit. It don't matter how all, all that fifth ranked defense, all that good stuff. Listen, we we, we got downfield ability. We we got spreadonomics.com. Go to the site. Everybody get a football. You get a football. You get a football. You get a target. You get a target. And now. We got somebody that's going to spread it around. Now you got Nick Chubb. Now you got, listen, you can't load up now. Right now, like we know that we will throw the football downfield and we will get it down to our playmakers. Now you got Nick Chubb who now has light boxes. You give me, you give Nick Chubb a light box. This might be the week, Tyvis. That's what I'm telling super you. Super light, but super pause. Like, you know, I'm surprised you caught that. <laughs> Dang, you've been hanging around black people a lot. Man. I'm surprised you caught that. Bro. This dude really been, you've been really out here yeah. knocking on doors, bro. <laughs> I'm learning hey, the ways. You're learning the ways, man. So, yeah, listen, when you got you all them dudes at the line of scrimmage, now we got an opportunity where we starting to see it. Now the thing that I'm, I'm looking to get more uh, into is there was a few times in that game they checked the screen passes. There was a time they checked to a screen and um, they got pressure uh, from Hamilton off the, off the edge and he had to get rid of it quickly. I'm looking for the Browns to line up a couple of nice little screen plays to get them lathered up. I think that the play action game is alive and well. And, and listen, the Chargers is a 4-3 and three team. I get it. You know what I'm saying? They, they struggling offensively. The Cleveland Browns they come out here and put some points on the board that first that first series, they gonna start believing, and that's gonna be a problem. Uh, Mike, give me, show me the uh, defensive numbers again, please. For the Chargers. For the Chargers, yeah. We we'll see what they, they was talk ranked about. ninth in the pass and eleventh in rushing. All right. Steve's trying to click on. Steve's getting it up. Pause. Uh, yeah. Uh, let me tell you something that's interesting about these numbers. Nothing. Get rid of them, please. They're completely useless. <laughs> they are meaningless, useless, not important. Okay? First of all, looking at season statistics, you know, we went crazy about the Browns' defense after five years. All-time great, all-time great. Yeah, they weren't all-time great. They weren't. Uh, the Chargers' uh, passing yards against numbers are fraudulent. First of all, in their seven games that they've played, they've only faced two good quarterbacks, mm. Patrick Mahomes and Kyler Murray. 
And even Kyler Murray as a passer can be spotty. And Mahomes not having – he's turned the ball over a lot, although he's got – obviously everybody's been hurt. Okay? The other five quarterbacks they faced are a who's who of crapola. So I don't want to hear about their number one. When you face five slappy quarterbacks, of course you're going to have good passing numbers against. The Chargers are a completely fraudulent team. <laughs> now, if the Browns want to be taken seriously – Remember, the Browns still have the fourth pick in the draft right now. Mm-hmm. So everybody went nuts after last week. Okay, that's fine. If the Browns want to be taken seriously as getting back in the playoff race, they have to win this game. I know it's Captain Obvious, but okay. They win this game, I'll, I'm ready to have a serious conversation about them getting back into the playoffs. They lose this game, it's completely over. Right. Goodbye, Zion. There's no excuse to lose this game. They're at home. The Chargers are fraud. They're a fraud 4-3 and three team. They're not going to go to the playoffs. Harbaugh's getting overrated. Let's face it. People are overrating him. He cheated at Michigan. That's the only reason they won. Although I hate saying that because that gives Ryan Day a pass, and Ryan Day is one of the 17 worst coaches in college football right now. Jeez. By the way, for every doofus out there, as I sidebar for a second, <laughs> that says to me, well, who are you going to replace him with, Bull? It's Ohio State. They should be able to have any coach they want. Belichick. This is not Iowa. What do you mean who they're going to replace they, him with? Ryan Day is not replaceable. They, they can get Belichick. They can get Saban. Yes. They can get Urban Meyer back. I, they get whatever they want. Let me tell you something. <coughs> How, what, what, I, I, I'm sorry I've sidebarred, but I got to go with this for one more minute, and then I'll bring it back, Mikey. <laughs> I promise. What is Ohio State's average record under Ryan Day? 11-2? and two? Um, He stayed losing two games. Yeah, or, sure. Eleven and two. All sure. right. <laughs> I guarantee you, and I, I, I truly mean this, as absurd as insane as this sounds. I guarantee you, if I became the head coach at Ohio State, which I am a hundred percent not qualified for, hundred percent, and I brought G and Tybus as my coordinators, and then you know you guys picked assistant coaches, whatever. I'll, I'll just uh, stand there and look at a play sheet and try to look smart. We would win a minimum of nine games a year in Ohio State. A minimum. That's kind of crazy. I don't give a rat's patootie whether or not Ryan Day beats any team besides the games that matter. Now, going back to the other fraudulent team, I the, the Los Angeles Chargers. I don't. They're fraudulent that they're in L.A. They screwed over San Diego, which is a disgrace. Harbaugh and his dopey pants and his overrated team. He's turned Justin Herbert into a eunuch. This guy was one of the better quarterbacks in the league. Now he's got nothing. They have no pass catchers. Uh, J.K. Dobbins, I mean, the guy had two good games. Now he's being talked about as a top back. Hadn't done anything since week two. They're a fraud. Browns better take care of business. Jameis, don't mess around. By the way, did you see the video of Jameis getting food in his car? Have you guys Swinsons? seen this? Swinsons. Yeah, it was from Big Play. Oh, that was Swenson's? Yeah, yeah Swenson's. <laughs> I think Jameis has been living under a rock his whole life. Jameis is the best. He was. He's the best. He is like. They get it, the, can I keep the trade too? That was unbelievable. <laughs> Did you didn't see this? I didn't see it. I got to check it he out. He was beyond excited. He was like, I've never seen a trade brought to the car before. And it's like, you know how they put the uh, mm. twins in there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was so excited. My, he was mind blown, blown away by this. Mind blown. Listen, we, hey, listen. this is, trust me. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> this is funny how things turn on their dime. I was yeah. doing Ultimate Browns. And I said, listen, when Joe Flacco w- was here, w- w- we was, I don't know. We don't know what's going on. <laughs> I don't know. Man, let me tell you something. You know how good you got to be. Let's keep it real. And I, I, I know Mary Kay said that. She said this is the, that was the worst Baltimore Ravens defense that we didn't, I didn't see. Listen, my job ain't, ain't my job ain't to give carry water for no Baltimore Ravens. I don't care if they drop ten picks. That's on y'all. Out of all <laughs> the, the first six weeks, you think the other teams is talking about? Well, the Browns got to figure it out. No, the Browns would have 100% lost that game with Deshaun Watson. 100%. Hey, let me. I don't think there's any doubt. Let me tell you this. Hey, look. If you telling me, think about how impressive that is. This man was sitting on the bench for how long? Two years. Two years. No first team reps. The man came in and dropped 330 in a game winning score. Like I'm just sitting here to myself, and then people talk about, well. 
you know, the Browns are going to stick with Jameis Winston. What you mean? Of course they are. <laughs> what you talking about? What, why is this a debate? I was beside myself. What? What are we? What are we doing here, people? Like y'all, maybe y'all might need to see six, seven weeks. Hey, bro, he coming here dropping these dimes this week. Look, come on now. I, I, <laughs> you know what the sick thing is? <clears throat> Sidetrack for a minute. McNuggets, did you have Winston on your fantasy team and you dropped him? Is that true? McNuggets. You just talked yourself into a new headline. I did. I just, that's, that's why I he was distracted because I was texting him and Anthony. To, I changed my headline. Because I originally was picking the Browns to lose this game. And I just realized the Chargers are so fraudulent this morning that I've now picked the Browns to win. I flip flop. This this uh, what, this what happens when this what happens when that Kool Aid that st- start to come. So so let me get this right. They win they win this week. The orange pitcher. Oh, big time! It's coming out. What are you talking about? <laughs> because <laughs> it, full fledged suits. Well, keep in mind the Chargers right now are the last spot in the playoffs. <laughs> what are you? Talking so if the Browns win, like if they if they lose, it's over. Done. Yeah, Goodbye. Yeah, yeah. Shovel on the season. They win. Now we're talking. You're right there. Like you, I said, they lose. They're gonna tra- the trade deadline yeah. is gonna be. Then you trading guys. Yeah. It's totally they win. Hey, I, I, don't, I, I don't want that, that crap. Out of this game, the one thing I want to know is I gotta know if Cedric Tillman is really like that. If I he's know. if he's because I mean he got all the, he's fast. He's a big. I'm starting him in fantasy. Are you? In a couple of leagues, yeah. I don't blame you. We're gonna you. find out, Ty. We're gonna. I,